I finally hit a thousand subscribers, which meant that I could be monetized by YouTube. So that came and went, took about a day to get approved. Actually, it was over the weekend, so like two or three days to get approved. And then I had to wait two days to see how much I was going to make per day. Got all excited, logged in, looked on that third day, and this is what I saw. Yep, $1.35. 11 months worth of work, hundreds of videos actually, all that to make $1.35. You know, some people might get pretty discouraged by that, right? Yeah, but not me. You see, getting monetized, getting a thousand subscribers, that was never really the goal. It wasn't, it wasn't why I started YouTube at all. Actually, YouTube started as a way for me to just not spend too much time on my eBay business. You know, how to, it was a way to force me to be more efficient uh, and essentially make a decent income working part time. So, you know, the, the fact that, you know, I didn't make a lot of money on day one of being monetized, it's, that's not really a big deal to me. Because honestly, even when I started having the idea of, hey, maybe I could make some money to pay for my fishing gear on YouTube, it wasn't going to be the YouTube AdSense revenue that really made the difference. That's sort of like the, the gravy on top. It's Maybe it's like the powdered sugar on top of the dessert or the, the parsley that garnishes the chicken parm. You know, and actually this isn't my first go around on YouTube. The first one had a few problems, but I learned from it. You see, the first time around on YouTube, A, I wasn't passionate about what I was doing. I was making content to basically grow a business that turns out I didn't love in the first place. And the second part of it is, it wasn't the right kind of content either. And so that knowledge has informed what I've been doing over the last year. And honestly, the passion part of it is critical because... You know, for most people, it's going to be several years before they make any kind of meaningful money on YouTube. So you got to have passion and good beer to go with it. And I think the other key tip is, you know, this time around, I've taken Gary Vaynerchuk's advice of don't go fancy, document versus create. It's a big, it's a big shift. You know, with fishing, it's kind of easy to document the fishing trips, but even the, you know, the things like the kayak video where I just document my research process, you know, that's, that's all I'm doing. I'm just sharing what I'm going through. And in fact, that video was suggested by Daryl, who's been a long time follower, and he was the first person in the Patreon group. So Daryl, thank you. That video did great. But, you know, and I'm always asking for feedback from you guys, but document, don't create. Document versus create. Some days the things that I'm filming it does feel like it's creation because I'm sort of in my studio down here in the basement or I'm sitting out in the backyard underneath the tree on my favorite bench just to hang out on because I'm I'm sharing information I'm narrating I'm, I'm doing something I'm talking about different lures whatever it is but that's really just documenting my process as well and so you know that idea of documenting has been critical to my success this time around I think if you want to call this success. But even at a dollar a day, I mean, it's 30 bucks a month. I spend around $400 a month on this channel, really. And honestly, in 23, I think I'm probably gonna spend more than that because the kayak alone is gonna eat up six months worth of that budget. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm definitely not doing it for the YouTube revenue. But if you're gonna make money on YouTube, it's gonna come from different sources. It's gonna come from affiliate income. It's going to come from possibly events. You know, it's going to come from sponsored videos and brand deals. And speaking of that, you guys know how much I like craft beer. At least some of you may. You know, so I'm sort of happy to say this video is brought to you by Athletic Brewing Company. The, the difference with this is, and the reason I think I'm okay to pitch it, this is a non-alcoholic beer. And I, I got to tell you, I was skeptical. I like my IPAs. This one is the... Free Wave Hazy IPA. And I thought, you know, non-alcoholic beer, near beer, whatever you want to call it, faux beer. It's just, you know, it's not going to be good. But I tell you what, I mean, it's got a nice hoppy smell, tastes great. Actually, this beer 
has almost 100% replaced my normal beers because as I've gotten older, I've sort of had this conflicted feeling over, I like my beer, I love my IPAs, but there's a lot of alcohol in a lot of them. And you know, alcohol is not good for the body. And if you have a handful of them, you know, there's a little regret in the morning. And when you're out fishing, you're wading a stream, especially as you get into kayaking and boating, you don't want to be drinking. You don't want to be under the influence of alcohol. That's just a, a disaster waiting to happen. This isn't a sponsored video, but I do have a link down in the description. If you want to try out Athletic Brewing's basically non-alcoholic craft beers, they also have seltzers, use the link in the description. If you buy two six packs, they send me one too. So it's like you're buying me a sixer. Hey, it's not too bad, right? You know, that's not gonna add up to a lot of stuff, but hey, free beer. Who doesn't like free beer? And quite frankly, I think alcohol free is even better. You know, those are the kind of things that are going to pay the bills as you, if you want it to, as you get up to, to, to speed on YouTube. And, and really my goal this year is to get YouTube and the associated revenue to the point where it pays for itself, right? It's, it's no longer me taking money out of my other business and out of our income to do some of the fishing stuff that I wanna do. And really when I started the idea of like, hey, this YouTube thing might actually, there might be something to it, that was the goal. Can I get YouTube to where it pays for the hobby of fishing? I think that's an admirable goal. So while I got to a thousand subscribers, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here two weeks later and I'm over 1400 and there has been this rapid growth and I thank each and every one of you for that. For those of you that have been here since I had less than a hundred and for those of you who have recently joined, it's just, it's been an amazing ride. And that growth over the last really two months, I've, I've picked up 800 subscribe, 800 plus subscribers in less than two months when I had 600 in the first nine or 10 months. That was all planned. It, it, you know, I had a strategy going into the year. I'm happy that it worked. Now, it worked a little better than expected in January because I had a series of videos that looks like they got picked up by Google and search engines and they worked out really well. So that was an added bonus. But I really thought that I would get to 1,150, 1,200 by the end of January just with the plan I was working. But you never know. This is, honestly, being a creator on YouTube in some ways is a little lonely. Yeah, I have this great community and you guys are all fantastic and I love the chat and the back and forth, but there are very few people who really get what you're trying to do when you're trying to create a fishing YouTube channel. You know, you can't batch content like other people say. I'm a firm believer that a rising tide lifts all ships. That's why I share the information that I do, but it's also why I've created the Fishing YouTubers Network. And there's only a couple of us in there right now, but we're having fun. We're helping each other grow. You know, if getting monetized on YouTube or growing on YouTube or getting 10 times bigger than what you are sounds like something you want to do, check out this video right here. Otherwise, I appreciate all the support. I uh, can't wait to see you next time. And do yourself a favor, get some athletic brewing with the link in the description below. And if you do that, you'll basically be sending me a six pack too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Now I'm gonna go finish this IPA that my first two days of being monetized on YouTube basically paid for. It's not bad. Thanks again.